Oh no, that's his tongue. And then it speeds up, starts having us down. Better get out of the way here. Then it gets bored and wanders off. In the concept art, they're just called jumpers. That was an excellent example right there. As new colours are wasted on the void, they can see from further away, become more aggressive, dealing more damage. Crimson, for instance, the word itself is pretty self-explanatory. It's the colour of anger. If you have it inside yourself, you do more damage, and if it's within the void, then other creatures do more damage to you. So it's worthwhile to hold off on spending crimson, but if I've got nothing else to choose, I'll happily use it. So, as for general leisurely romps around each chamber, you pretty much only need azure for speed, crimson for attack, and emerald for defense. Emerald is viscous, like a tar. If you have it inside you, you'll be clotted up, and enemies won't be able to do as much damage to you. That was a waste. Now that's one of the best examples I can find of the developers taking a logical step rather than some far-flung reaching to fit within the confines of their game mechanic. They started off with Emerald being viscous, and so rather than having it have defense for you and have some sort of equal thing making other creatures gain more defense if you use it in the void, they have done something that fits within the game's logic rather than the gameplay's logic. The sister wants me to kill all the predators, but she also doesn't want me to waste my color, and since killing them is a waste of colour when I can avoid them so easily, I'm going to refrain from doing that. In most cases anyway, and if I do want to kill something, I'm going to use Azure for reasons I've already stated, and I don't have very much of that right now. Oosh, there's a ledge there, but into the pit with me. The dead sisters talk to me all the time. That's just the sort of comment I'd expect to hear around these parts. I've got huge amounts of colours clogging up my pores right now. Well, it's actually a bit that's separated from my body. This bit over here, it's my memory. I can tap into it somehow. Is the memory of colour a more purer source than the stuff that I'm making? Are my hearts a filtration system for it? Or is it like bath water slowly becoming all muggy as I lie around with it inside me? By cycle 5, I should have everything I need to feed the sister up to her second heart, and... Oh, well, I don't have any room to plant anymore, do I? I'll have to get by on the handouts from the void for now, so I'll just let the cycle change. So far I've been playing pretty much optimally, although I do say so myself. And even so, it looks like... The amount from the gardens and the handouts I'm getting from the void are only going to be just enough to feed the sister up, which is an excellent way of balancing the gameplay. They've got it very close in giving you just enough to succeed. There's nobody here. Nobody. Really, regardless of how well you do in these first five cycles, you're going to end up at pretty much exactly the same state at the end of it as anyone else playing. I'm basing that purely on how awfully I did the first time through compared with how well it's going now. No one will protect you better than I. The colours comments often seem quite random, but that one seemed a bit more tailored since the emerald is the protector. One that I just sucked out. Don't fear death. There is no death in the void. It could just be a coincidence. No although there isn't really much way for me to find out, and there are lots of things in the game that appear not to be, but you know, I wouldn't put it past them to build up a system whereby things that appear as coincidence happen more regularly than they should. In any case, it's infrequent and varied enough to remain interesting, and better yet, it's in a whisper so I can talk over it. And after all that, I still have a huge amount of colour left over in this garden, which will be great for the future, next cycle in particular. And I've got no use for it right now, so let's get out of here. Once I open up the sister's second heart, it will be a pretty good naturally stopping point for this update. There might be a bit of trouble. I don't know if you consider these episodes a bit long. I'm going to cut them down into ten minute bits to avoid any problems there. Um, it's really hard to decide because I don't know how long it's going to take. I don't have a 
timekeeping device nearby in any case. So I just hope you have some patience enough to watch me do this. My emerald is full, and even my azure is full. At the moment I have quite a small capacity for colour, so it's quite easy to do, but it will get a lot harder in the future. With each heart I pick up, my capacity increases by 10, so at the moment I have 110 droplets available in both my lympha and my nerva. I have huge gold reserves in my memory and in my garden, so I'm going to stick with that. Oh, even then, not quite enough. Each subsequent heart requires more than the last one. I'm not sure how much, it may be as much as twice as much each time. This doesn't matter for now, but it will have huge effects on my course of action in the future. So, wait until that, feed her up with the last of the emerald. Careful not to choke. More bonds are released. She does a forward somersault of pleasure. Now you look and act just like a brother. Their looks, habits, and the eyes. But your height, it doesn't matter. They can't see anyway. Just don't let them touch you and they won't notice. Now, don't visit the elder sisters and don't give them color. It's suicidal. Ava and Uta belong to the most brutal brothers. The other sisters will call me death, but don't listen to them. It's because I was born after the Void stopped living, a long time ago. I heard a silent moan. Lost souls always cry like that. I called you to me and gave you shelter. I warmed you and took care of you while you were sleeping. I gave you my heart. I've taught you to survive. Trust me. Take care of yourself. Dwell in silence and tranquility. And just like that, all my suspicions dissipated to nothing. She has been really nice so far. She's given me a heart, for Christ's sake. And an awful lot to comment on. So, that's her semi-official name, Sister Death which is quite appropriate from her, from the sound of her and uh, her general outlook. Which begs the question, who gives the sisters their names? Do they, must they deserve them by getting a brother, or do they christen themselves? Has she given it up because she's just that depressive? The colour has managed to disguise my very nature, and now I appear as a brother, somehow. In the way that they sense me, perhaps, since they can't see it from themselves. And it's funny that I've done this by giving it away, which is supposedly forbidden. I've gone to my garden to await the new cycle. The sister is telling me not to advance, that it would be suicidal to go to the next sisters, which is ridiculous, because I've got no other means of progressing. It's more than an opportune moment to cry, What do you want from me? So I just have. Hello. Are you okay, little naked girl on the swing? They told me everything. I'm waiting for you. Is it just me or does she seem a little bit young? I think the swing is just skewing my judgement a bit. Ole's Cradle. Well, she seems to know something about me, and she's flashing, which is the clearest indication I've got of a final destination, so I should head over to her. Whichever way I go, we'll make advancements towards her. Probably a bad choice of words there. So it doesn't really matter. But from the looks of it, that'll take some time, so I won't think about it too much for now. And I won't try too desperately to get there, since it could compromise everything else I'm trying to do. Striving for one purpose at this stage could completely upset my careful balance I've been trying to build up and risk my life in the short run. Now I'm letting it all flow through. Uh, that's hard to say. 
and I'll switch the emerald for Azure, since the emerald has served its purpose, and I don't need to go on about the use of Azure anymore. Other sisters will take other colours, so it's definitely time for me to start branching out. Though the next two sisters don't take Azure, oh well. Mantid, the first brother. How's that for a cliffhanger? <laughs>